I wouldn't even be mad at you if you made some hot chocolate. Mm. Yeah. But things are quiet on radar compared to what we were tracking last night. Uh, you can see some clouds off to the north and west and also uh, some, a little bit of snow action. A lot of folks have been talking on social media about the system that has been pushing through portions of the northeast, producing some uh, intense snowfalls in some places and forecasted to do more of that over the next day or so. Thankfully for us here, the only thing that we're really seeing are just a couple of flurries. Some streamers moving on down here, a very light in nature, mainly in portions of western Maryland, although we have seen some of that activity in Northern Carroll and Baltimore County, but most of that energy hasn't even made it to 95. So not expecting this to be widespread. Folks in Westminster saw a couple of flurries and they're drying out right now. That's pushing on off uh, more moving into Taney Town over the next couple of minutes. At the Inner Harbor, it's a more peaceful scene that we've seen for the last hour or so. The winds have died down a little bit, down to about nine miles per hour, but we've seen them gusting all over the city, upwards of 10, 15, almost 20 miles per hour here. Northerly flow, for the most part, bringing in some cooler numbers, 32 in Parkton, 36 in the city, almost at 40 down in Annapolis. Here are the winds everywhere else, and at the uh, Inner Harbor, we're at 19, 18 in Essex, 7 in Eastern Shore in Chestertown, and 14 in Stevensville. That's having a cooling of Effect on the numbers. If you're walking outside this evening, it's definitely feeling a little bit cooler. We're talking about wind chills that are in the 20s for most of us, and they're only going to go down as we head through the next couple of hours here. So it's going to feel like around 24 degrees at the 8 o'clock hour. Stepping out maybe for a bite to eat tonight. You're going to need the jackets. Temperatures will cool down to about 28, but with winds at about 14, it's going to feel chilly all night here. Mostly clear skies for the night. Now, as we turn the page to your Friday, you're still going to need that jacket. We're watching another cold front that's going to bring some of the coldest numbers we've seen this week into the area on Saturday. The good news, the weekend won't be a total bust. Sunday's looking pretty solid. Mix of sun and clouds and some slightly warmer temperatures to finish off the weekend. Here's how we get through Futurecast here at 7 o'clock hour. We'll be watching that secondary front starting to push into portions of Western Maryland at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. It'll slide through the area and by the afternoon, don't be surprised if you're in places like Annapolis, Stevensville, Centerville. If you see a couple of isolated showers as the system moves through, most of the moisture though pushes offshore as we head into your Friday evening. We'll see some high pressure start to build into the area on Saturday and we'll see mostly sunny skies. Unfortunately, won't be feeling all that nice as we head into Saturday. Here's your Friday planner here. We'll start off in the lower 30s up to 38 by the 10 o'clock hour. Then we're hanging out in the 40s for the afternoon. Still going to be breezy. Still going to need that jacket as chilly temperatures will linger for your Friday. Saturday, we'll wake up to wind chills. Yeah, one degree in Thermont, 11 degrees at the Inner Harbor. We really don't see a major warm up as we head into the afternoon. Those feel like numbers get into the mid 20s at best for your Saturday. And as we're heading into the evening, we're dipping back down into the teens. So if you have Saturday night plans, you are definitely going to want to bundle up. Seven day forecast shows mostly sunny and 50 on your Sunday into the upper 50s with a few showers starting to filter in later on in the day on Monday, keeping the umbrella handy for the next few days. The good news, those highs are going to be flowing into the mid to upper 60s, flirting with 70 by next Wednesday. We'll have more for you after the break. Download the WMAR2 News app on all of your streaming devices and watch local